Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm doing another themed build. Uh, this is my uh, my latest Star Wars one. And I was trying to think if I could do this one. And I was looking, oh, it's a little bit flat and it's got, you know, kind of edges and stuff. I said, I bet I could do it. And I was looking to see uh, any videos to give me some inspiration on there. And there's some out there, but it's a hard build to do. It's a hard build to do. So, uh, but I really like the Andor series. I don't know if you guys watch it. We've had so many great series uh, for Star Wars lately. And uh, I really like the Andor one. And one of the pivotal moments of it is when you see this new ship that we haven't seen before, which is like, man, if you had a smuggler ship, if you had something that you want to do to fool everybody, get out of trouble, do all the things, oh my gosh, this would be the ship that I would like to have. In here, so it's called the Fondor Hallcraft. So it's a theme ship. So not all the stuff is, is is the best as far as weapons and and other things and shields and stuff. But it's uh what I have here that I thought kind of made it uh, so that it represented um, the the ship from Star Wars. So if you've uh, if you've seen it in there, you can even like just kind of look it up. Um, and there you know even look at the little videos. There's there's that scene where I don't want to spoil too much, stuff like that, but it, uh, it really impresses everybody with the capabilities of this ship. So, uh, so yeah. So, here's what we got for the ship. This is kind of everything put together. It's not very, you know, very complicated. So, I thought I'd start with it, you know, fully built, kind of pull some things apart and show you what we're doing with it. All right, so let's look at this. <clears throat> the first thing that's very iconic are these wings that it has. These wings uh, hook onto the side, and they're very, very, very thin. Uh, we can only go so far in ours, but I really like that we have this uh, um, this Stroud cowling that we're able to use. And then the um, the engines on the back of it are very thin as well. <clears throat> and the thinnest kind of curved ones that fit that style are these SA4330 engines. Um, you know, there's different levels and stuff, but this is a real powerful ones uh, on the back there. So I have that on either side. So on either side of this, I've got that same setup. They're both those wings. Uh, in the show, uh, they actually oops, they actually fold up into an up position uh, in there. But uh, we have them in the down position in there. Your engines in the back uh, really mirror. Uh, that kind of roundness, uh, almost in a similar way to like a Millennium Falcon. So uh, I went with these again. And the great thing about these is that you can flip them like all a bunch of different ways. You can flip it that way. You can flip it so that it's like a middle piece. You can even flip it so that it's upside down with a curve. Um, so that's what's really great. I really like these engines. Um, to kind of round out the back a little bit, I added uh, two... Uh, 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 kind of structural hull pieces uh, to round out the back side of that. Um, and then uh, underneath, I have uh, landing gear. I have two landing gear on each side. Boom, 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 boom. So I have my four. Uh, underneath is where I hide a lot of the uh, the mechanic stuff in here. Of the, uh, the reactor is underneath. We just kind of went with the one-tier stuff so that it would fit underneath uh, the ship. We have our grav drive, and we have our helium tank. All right, so they all kind of fit in that one layer underneath. So one layer underneath where you have like a little uh, underneath a uh, um, cowling uh, nose cap kind of thing underneath, and then that bottom row I have captain's quarters because I figure you know with with uh, um, uh, you know with a single driver, single operator, you would have a captain's quarters. So that's what you're looking underneath. And then that, uh, that first decorative row, you have the, uh, the Stroud caps underneath as well. And then in the front, you have a little nose cap on there because it does have like a little snub nose. And it's off-centered with the cockpit. So I went with, it's very much kind of like in that style of the uh, Millennium Falcon. And so the closest thing that I was thinking about with that is the, um, the Deo... Deo um, the Tayo, sorry, uh, uh, <clears throat> to the uh, cockpit. So that kind of works. And it is kind of set back, and there's a little bit of space. So that kind of worked. And it is a uh, side loader, so I put in between the two um, uh, landing gears on this side. 
I added the uh, the landing bay was the side loader. Um, so uh, underneath on this row, like I showed you underneath here, you do have the uh, the captain's quarters, and I have that for the docker underneath just to hide it away. But then on the second level, I have um, a little bit of everything because this is a kind of an everything craft. I have a control station. I have a, um, a computer uh, core. Um, I have a, um, uh, where is it back here? I've got an armory uh, for all of his weapons in there and all in one berth. Storage, you know, companionway aspect uh, to it. So uh, plenty of space in there. And then on this side, I've included, um, you know, some, uh, some cargo. Uh, so he's able to kind of uh, smuggle all of his cargo uh, within there. So, and then I have my little shield up here, my bulwark shield from the Vanguard, because I had it from a previous build that I uh, made this from. Um, and uh, that look kind of rounded everything out back here. And then on the very top uh, in here, uh, there is a moment where uh, uh, a, a part raises from the back of the ship and from here fires all of these, like, almost like shrapnel kind of thing to uh, take away their uh, tractor beam. And so I said, oh, that works out cool, because it gives you kind of a little sleek look uh, to the back of the ship. So that's why I have that piece on there. And then there's turrets with uh, uh, different guns uh, on there. I just put, you know, a few different ones that I kind of liked on here. We have our uh, Vanguard obliterators and then our disruptors uh, on that. But again, all these parts, weapons and things like that, you can put whatever you would like on it. It's more about, you know, getting that ship to look you know, as accurate as we can within the, um, the format of, uh, of, uh, you know, of this game to be able to, to bring that about. And it really, you know, I said, uh, uh, as far as something of, of coming close, closely, yeah, I think we did pretty well with it. Uh, this is kind of a different setup than I saw uh, in, a, in uh, other people's videos who have tried this in there, so I do think I give kind of a unique view to it. So... Um, um, so I hope uh, y'all enjoy it. I really enjoyed making it. These, I tell you, these builds are so fun. I say this in like every video, but I really enjoy the theme builds. Um, and I try to make them, um, you know, and I think I'm pretty successful at it, uh, making them so that they're very functional. Like I said, if I was really getting serious, I would, you know, maybe change out, you know, certain guns and stuff um, uh, to, be able to, to uh, make it a little bit more uh, battle ready. Uh, in there, but everything in here, you you know you you know works. You can come on up in here and go into all the different areas. Um, instead of having like maybe a computer core or something like that, uh, maybe I would put like a you know um, um, a workshop or something like that. But he didn't really have a workshop in his, so that's why I kind of went with that. But you know alterations that you could do, you know within there. It is a very sleek looking ship when it's flying in there. I always like the backside of these engines. Uh, if you saw one of my bu uh, uh, original builds um, that I did with my Bounty Hunter um, uh, uh, build uh, last week, um, I used all of these because I, I really like them. I really like these, uh, these SA-4000 you know, engines. You know, they're really cool looking um, and, uh, and do very, very well. So, yeah. Uh, let me see. Was there anything else I was going to show with this? Um, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, the like I said, I was good. I, I was thinking about showing the inside stuff like that, but it's very very basic. You know, go up in here, you've got the main hallway, and boom, you're into the stuff. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot to it. So, but uh, but maybe I'll inspire uh, you guys to uh, build it yourself and go check it out, um, and uh, and and do more of your own theme builds and stuff. I love seeing them. Probably a uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, like I said, the thing that I like most about this game is the shipbuilding, and I like just putting into a um, a YouTube search and put Starfield ships, and then I just look to see what new builds are out there and what people are making in there and getting inspiration for things, and uh, it really is absolutely amazing and stunning the community of shipbuilders and and people are into it and. And I'm sure we're going to get more once we start to get those developer kits next year. People are going to be modding stuff, be able to see, you know, what people are, you know, are able to come up with. So, uh, so yeah. So, I hope you're having a lot of fun watching these videos. I'm having a blast, you know, uh, making them. So, uh, 
So thank you very much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment down below. What's the next Star Wars ship I should work on? What's the next, uh, or just the next ship in general in there? And, uh, you know, maybe give me some ideas and stuff. So uh, uh, please subscribe, ding the bell, do all the stuff and everything. We're doing real well. We're almost uh, able to apply for, uh, for YouTube partner monetization. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm so excited that we're so close to that. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. You all are very, 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 very wonderful. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.